In today's class, we're going to be taking care of our spine, really soothing the spine, which ultimately will end up soothing the nervous system. In Kundalini Yoga, we have a saying that a healthy spine equals a healthy mind. Because when we take care of the spine and the nervous signals can conduct well, our energy flows well, we feel calm and centered. It's an amazing place to be in. You deserve to feel calm, peaceful, and present, and I want to help you to achieve that state. Now, if you're ready to take care of your body, mind, and nervous system, grab your yoga mat, and let's get ready to practice. We feel yoga, my energy's rising. We feel yoga, emotions realigning. So find your way into a comfortable seated position. We'll start by turning inside and checking in with where we are before we begin. So anywhere where you can sit nice and tall, Pressing the seat down, reaching the crown of the head up. Roll the shoulders back and down so the heart is open, soft and relaxed. Then I invite you to turn inside, close the eyes, and take a deep inhalation through the nose. Then open the mouth and sigh it out. Oh, soften the body, soften the mind. Again, deep inhalation. Fill the body with as much breath as you can. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Oh, and as you sigh, feel the vibrations of the sigh massaging the nervous system, calming you down. One more time, take a deep inhalation as much as you can. Sniff in even more. Hold it for three, two, one. Open the mouth, sigh it out. Oh, soften and relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, your attention turned inside. Take a moment to notice where you are now before we begin. How do you feel in your body? How do you feel in your energy? How do you feel in your emotions and your mind? Just check in with where you are now so we can see where we begin and check in later where we ended up. Wherever you are, just taking note. Then take a deep inhalation through the nose. And as you exhale, gently coming back. I welcome you once again. Namaste. So we're going to start warming our spine now with Sufi grind. Uh, I'm going to say again, whenever we do dynamic practices, you can find the rhythm that works for you. If you're kind of middle of the day and you want to release some tension, it can be good to go a bit faster. If it's later in the evening and you're doing this just before bed, going more slow will help you to calm down and turn inside even more. So feel free to adjust the practice to suit your needs today. Okay, for Sufi grind, we're going to have the hands on knees. We're going to lean forward and we're going to rotate towards the right, around back, left and forward. Inhale as you come forward. Exhale as you round back and try to draw as big of circles as you can from the center of the chest. Inhale forward, exhale back. And try to create this rotation throughout the entire spine. Feel your seat rocking around on the mat. Feel the hips gyrating. Feel a deep massage occurring in the abdominal region. Connecting the breath, really feel the chest opening and rounding with each breath. And keep your chin parallel with the floor so you get the benefit of this rotation all the way up into the neck. Next time you come to the front, switch directions. Opposite direction, still inhaling forward, exhaling back, drawing as big of a circle as you can. Remember, find the pace, the rhythm that works for you right now. Taking care of the spine. Other than healthy spine, healthy mind, another thing we like to say is you're as young as your spine is flexible. Because when the spine is flexible, we feel mobile, we feel vital. That's one of the keys to feeling youthful. When we can move, it's, we take it for granted. <laughs> when we start to feel stiff and sore is when we realize, wow, what a gift it is to feel mobile. So do this action today, taking care of the spine. Increase your mobility 
and your youthfulness. And take a deep inhalation, sit nice and tall. Hold the breath. Then release and relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Feeling fine vibrations from the base of the spine all the way to the top of the head. The massaging and soothing of the nervous system. Beautiful. Now we're going to do a spinal flex. So we're going to hold on to the shins between the ankles and the knees. And we're going to inhale forward. Exhale, rounding back. Moving from the center of the sternum here. I'll turn sideways. We want to create this flex along the whole spine. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Again, find your pace. If you want to go more slow, go slow. If you want to go more fast, go fast. But really close your eyes, go inside and, and feel this motion of the spine. Remember, energy moves in waves, just like the light, just like the sound. All the energy in life moves in waves. So when we move our spine in this wave-like pattern and we breathe along with it, we really encourage the energy within our body to move in a more harmonious way. Take a deep inhalation, sit nice and tall. Hold the breath. Absorb the energy from the lungs. And release and relax. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention inside. Feeling the effect of the practice. Find vibrations through the body. Calming of the mind and thoughts. Soothing the nervous system. Beautiful, gently coming back. Next, we're going to do something to uh, release our hips a little bit. A lot of tension can be stored in the hips. And we're going to do what's called reverse or reclining pigeon, where we're going to lay down on our back, <clears throat> and we're going to bend the right knee and bring the left knee into the chest, turn the knee out to the side, and place the left ankle on top of the right knee. Now flex the left foot <laughs> and hug your right knee into your chest. What we want to do here is we want to create this opening of the left hip. Now I really encourage you to play with this, kind of rock side to side, adjust the angle of your right leg until you find the point where it's like, oh yes, really getting into the left hip. We're going to stay here for one minute. So I want you to find the point where it's like comfortable. Not about pain, not about uh, creating some giant release, but just find that little bit of stretch and relax into it. Breathe deep into the pelvis. Mm. You can store a lot of tension, a lot of emotions in the hips. So if you've had a particularly rough day, this can be a good one to let go of any emotions that might be lingering. Breathe into the hips with every exhalation, soften a little more into the pose. Beautiful, then gently release both feet back to the mat. Just take a moment lying here to feel the difference between the left hip and the right hip. Feel that nice opening, release of tension, stress. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So this time bring the right ankle over the left knee, flex the right foot, 
and then start to hug your left knee in towards the chest. As you pull the left knee in towards the chest, push the right knee away and maybe rock side to side, adjust the angle until you find that sweet spot for you. Once you're there, breathe deep. Soften and relax. Surrender into this space. Mm. If you happen to notice any emotions arising, maybe sadness, tears, maybe frustration, resistance, just allow it. It's okay. <laughs> You're allowed to cry. You're allowed to be angry. You're allowed to be frustrated. It's completely welcome. It's part of the process of release. Mm. Beautiful. And gently release both feet back to the mat. Again, taking a moment here of awareness, feeling the opening of the right hip. Allow your experience to unfold. Hmm, beautiful. Now we're gonna do a lying spinal twist to really release any tension along the spine. Hug the knees into the chest. Open the arms a T-shape. Palms are down towards the floor for support. Then lift the knees to 90 degrees and drop your knees to the right as you look over to the left. Try to keep the left shoulder blade on the floor as much as possible. If you need, you can use the right hand to support your legs to go deeper into the twist. And again, it's not about going to some crazy stretch. It's just about softening. We're working on taking care of our nervous system, not creating more tension. Once you're in the pose, breathe deep into the belly. Offer a nice massage to the digestive system. And also a nice release for the lower back as each exhalation allows you to soften deeper into the pose. Beautiful. Release the pose, inhaling the knees up to center. And then we're going to exhale as we twist the other side, dropping the knees to the left as you turn towards your right arm. Again, you can use the left hand to help pull yourself deeper into the pose. Regardless of where you are, take this time here to really just release and relax into the posture. Breathe deep into the belly, massaging the digestive organs with the breath, releasing the spine a little bit more with each exhalation. Beautiful. To release the pose, inhale the knees back up to center. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Then we're going to start to rock gently forward and back from the hips to the shoulders. 
offering a nice massage to the spine. Mm. This is a great way to encourage greater flexibility of the spine. And make your way up to a comfortable seated position. We're going to do some breathing today. The breath we're going to use is known as Samavritti Pranayama or the square breath where we're going to breathe in a square-like pattern using all four parts of the breath and making them equal. So we're going to inhale for a count of four. We're going to hold the breath in for four. We're going to exhale for four. And we're going to hold the breath out for four. This equalizing of the four parts of the breath is super stabilizing for the nervous system. Really helps us to go inside, to ground. It's really great to calm down in any sort of stressful or challenging situation. We're going to use a metronome to help us keep pace. And it's going to go a bit slow. It's going to sound like this. So the idea is we're breathing very slow, very deep, filling the lungs like we did yesterday. Nice full breath. Long inhalation, long exhalation. And holding the breath for the count of four, both in and out. Before we begin, we'll do one ventilation breath to purge the lungs. So inhale through the nose. Fully exhale through the mouth. And let's begin. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold the breath. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four. Hold empty, two, three, four. All the breathing is through the nose, in. Hold. Exhale. Hold. And continue on your own. And gently return to normal breathing, sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside, feeling the calming, stabilizing effect of Samavritti Pranayama. State of centering, balance within the nervous system. Beautiful. Now to seal the energy and receive all the benefits of the practice, we're going to make our way down to lying on our back for a few minutes of Shavasana. Come down to lying. Feet are open to the sides. Palms facing up. Nice open receptive body language. 
And then take a deep inhalation through the nose. Open the mouth side out. <sighs> Soften the body. Soften the mind. And take this moment for you now to completely let go. To completely relax.
gently coming back to your body, preparing to reawaken with little movements of the toes and fingers, gentle rotations of the wrists and ankles, dropping the head from side to side to release the neck. When you're ready, take a deep inhalation, reach the arms overhead, big stretch. <clears throat> Exhale, hug the knees into the chest to release the lower back. Rocking side to side to massage the spine. Then gently roll your way onto one side and slowly push yourself up into a comfortable seated position the final awareness phase. Sitting with the eyes closed, attention turned inside. Take a moment to notice where you are now, after the practice. How you feel in your body, your energy, your emotions and your mind. Notice what's changed from when we started until now. Wherever you are, tell yourself thank you for showing up, for getting on the mat to take care of yourself, take care of your nervous system, to provide yourself a moment to chill out. It's such a precious gift to be able to give ourselves this time. So you deserve to say thank you to yourself today. Take a deep inhalation into the heart. And as you exhale, gently coming back. So I can say thank you to you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this class. I hope you're feeling chilled out a little bit. Let me know in the comments below how it was for you, how, what the difference is from when we've started until now. I love so much to share these journeys with you and hear about all the changes along the way. So I really hope to get to share more of it with you. Namaste. We feel yoga, my energy's rising. We feel yoga, emotions realigning. We feel yoga. Consciousness expanding, reveal yoga, my soul's understanding.